This is um, the holy grail of uh, breast cancer surgery. Denny Shred, founder of DC Finance, recently spoke with Perimeter Medical Imaging AI. Here are the highlights. Dr. Ted James, Chief of Breast Cancer Surgery at Harvard Medical School, and Dr. Frank Prendergast, former Director Emeritus of the Mayo Clinic's Comprehensive Cancer Center, joined Jeremy Sabota, CEO of Perimeter, to articulate how the company is working to transform breast cancer surgery with advanced real-time ultra-high resolution medical imaging technology and AI tools. Both Dr. James and Dr. Prendergast are members of Perimeter's Scientific Advisory Board. Dr. Prendergast has served on Perimeter's Board of Directors since October 2018, following more than 20 years of service on the board of Eli Lilly. Perimeter Medical Imaging AI is a, is a commercial stage medical device company. We're kind of right at a very exciting time of our life cycle where we're transitioning from late clinical stage into commercial efforts on our already FDA cleared uh, imaging platform device. So we our uh, novel technology is addressing an unmet need in breast cancer surgery, which is uh, intraoperative margin assessment. We have just kicked off a clinical study to further train and test an artificial intelligence algorithm that will overlay the images that our machine generates and really provide a, a kind of a Google Maps that would say, hey, review this part of the image because the image has characteristics that would indicate that tissue is suspicious for containing cancer cells. This is an area that's always been of, of um, uh, tremendous interest among breast surgeons and every year one of the major conversations is about margin control what can we do for margin control if you think about what happens around the world yeah. with uh, less skilled surgeons less skilled um, technologies available especially even here in the states or in canada with a lot of the surgery being done in community hospitals by perfectly capable surgeons, but lacking the democratizing principle. That's where I think Perimeter really fits in. The technology uses a light as a tool. It's called optical coherence tomography. And it uses light as a tool to interrogate the tissues and differentiate the normal tissue from the disease tissue. And the resolution of that technology is very high. Moreover, since you can add techniques like uh, artificial intelligence or augmented intelligence, you can teach the system how the distinction between normal and disease tissue is reflected in the image. But the most important thing is that the technology is essentially automated. Right now, from a healthcare policy and healthcare regulation and payment is ideal for this type of device. I mean, let alone being the right thing to do, obviously, um, there is now more and more of a financial incentive for a healthcare organizations to be able to deliver high quality, and that's exactly what Otis does. The technology, as we mentioned earlier, is really exciting because it's going to uh, accelerate users along the adoption curve. So instead of somebody learning a new imaging modality and you know, learning how to review examples of images like DCIS for like invasive cancer with our tool. This provides them an acceleration of zeroing in on parts of the images that are generated to help them focus on the important parts of the margin. So AI is not just a, a something we decided, you know, because it sounds sexy to put in the, in, uh, in with the tool. It's an essential component. An MRI machine costs a lot of money. You can't do it in the operating room. It takes a lot of time to acquire the images. And in the final analysis, I do not believe it's gonna give you any better resolution. So this technique is perfect for the operating surgeon. Well, I think a lot of surgeons were used to looking at images. We're looking at, as Frank said, preoperatively, we're looking at MRI images. We may, a lot of surgeons use ultrasound interoperatively. It's interesting just how similar uh, the images are to ultrasound once you're familiar with that. So I think right off the bat, about half the surgeons out there who are doing breasts will be very familiar with uh, imaging interpretation. And by half, that's probably uh, underestimating. So I, I do think that this has the uh, ability to significantly improve uh, any practices positive margin rate. 
and uh, potentially even go down to 5% or, you know, Denny, I mean, even, even potentially lower, right? So we have uh, intellectual property around the single-use consumable that uh, makes the whole procedure work. Uh, and then because we own the intellectual property around the image generation, we, it is proprietary and trade secret, all of the images that can train an artificial intelligence algorithm. So uh, we are years ahead of anybody else. And so uh, there's both patent protection and proprietary trade secret protection as well. Uh, you know, what, what an early adopter market would look like for perimeter. And you know, at about just a 20% a procedure penetration, perimeter's annualized revenue from that high margin razor blade part of the uh, equation would be about $50 million a year. Yeah, uh, we are actively working on that right now. We expect to, uh, you know, do a limited launch uh, early next year and, and really begin our commercial efforts uh, in earnest, uh, you know, as we're ramping up a sales force and ramping up commercial operations, really. This is um, the holy grail of uh, breast cancer surgery. Uh, we've always been looking for some way to get the information that we need at the time of the lumpectomy to make sure that we've actually done uh, the complete lumpectomy. So I was, that's why I've really been uh, with the company from the start because I knew that this is going to be revolutionary for, uh, for my field.